How's it going everyone? Sinister with the Gamer Section bringing you another review. And today I'm covering draws for Nintendo Switch and PC. Your draws, a little goo that escaped the lab through the sewers fleeing for freedom. And also their protagonist is the captain whose quest is to stop the alchemist. However, the captain gets ambushed and loses his arm. Now draws saves his life so now they both work together to stop him. Visually, Draws looks like a dark cartoon with its dark theme. Basically, it looks like a storybook for grown-ups. The game is presented in an overhead view where the camera comes into play and like you can rotate at 360 degrees. The character models are small in scale with little details here and there. And what I like about this game is the lore because it shows like all the areas that you unlock in sketch form and has like information of all the different areas that you unlock. And another thing is there's no voiceover, just gibberish translated into subtitles. Plus, the main characters can talk to other NPCs in the game with close-up profiles. And that's where the landscapes themselves, you can see the dirt and grime and sludge everywhere like in the sewer levels for example. Playing this on the Switch, the frame rate is basically 30 frames per second. And if you're on the PC, you can run up to 60 frames per second with some tweaking. But for adventurers, you should try this game out. Dross is a dark adventure game where you can control two characters at different times. Captain is the action guy who's ready to hack and slash enemies and obstacles to get through. For defense, he can block attacks which is key to surviving. Dross itself is best to get through small spaces plus double jump to higher platforms. Also, he is good at opening doors and kicking down ladders for Captain you know, to climb up on it or to get through. Plus, he can get through pipes. However, his weakness you know, for Captain, he can't jump. And as for Dross, his weakness, he can't fight. So basically... However, both these guys cover each other's weaknesses. Um, and you know, playing this game, you know, it took me a while to get used to the controls, but after that, I was golden and able to progress even further. One issue I encountered was frame rate issues. Like, for example, I was exploring the sewer area and the screen was jacking, so I had to restart the game and then it ran fine after that. And also, the captain not able to jump is one thing that hurts this game the most but when it comes to the gameplay mechanics. I give Dross a 3 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel.